Hello everyone, I'm going to show you an exercise to set the breath up so to feel more connected in the body to the breath. It also stretches out the vocal cords and gets you into the higher area. It gets the voice to turn over instead of popping over. Okay, so we use a v, 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 v. Just practice that with me and take note of what happens in the body. So it's a letter V, but it's just the very beginning part of it. What you should notice is that the this part of the body kind of clenches a little bit like that and obviously you feel it on the lips and you should also feel some back pressure so a bit of nice stretchy pressure in the throat as well okay now that feels nice and supported but because of the nature of the V consonant, it's also expelling air. So it's quite a nice balanced consonant to train this on. We want to just focus on the V part, all right? So I'm going to say V. So we're going to go V, 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 V. So it's like V, U, H, all right? We're not going to go V, 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 V. There's too much uh there. Neither are we going to go V, V. It's not not enough. Ah, uh, all right. So just in the middle, v. V, 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 v. Have a few attempts on the top one. V, 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 v. V, 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 v. Now as you're going up, right? Now, like I said, you should be feeling it here. V, 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 v. My teeth look so funny. V, 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 v. Now as you go up. This might happen, okay? V, 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 v. If it breaks, you need more pressure on the v. V, 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 right? Or this might happen. V, 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 v. Not gonna be doing that. We wanna be singing it through a narrow space. So like you're singing down a straw. V, 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 v. All right? And when we get here, all right, dig right in. And carry on as high as you can go, and then you come back down. I don't want to demonstrate all of them. The point is, crossing all points of the range there. Afterwards, your voice should feel nice and smooth and warmed up, but it should also feel like your the lower half of your body, you know, where you're controlling the breath from, is kind of working quite hard, but not in too hard a way. It just feels engaged, all right? So what you can do then, once that feels warmed up, you can take a little bit of the v out of it and open it up into a normal sound, right? So we've established like a thin v, the straw. We've established a straw-like space, which we're singing down. It's not v, that's larger, right? It's right there. So we want to maintain the feeling of narrowness, okay? But all we're gonna do this time is open the mouth. But we're not gonna have the throat follow what the mouth does, all right? We're gonna keep the narrow sort of ooh shape. So like this. So I'm going up on the small Then I'm hitting that one the top one, still in a narrow way. And then I'm hitting the second, the va, in the same way, the narrow space. And I'm going in slow motion. So you're going from v to to a. Va, va. And 
-hmm. what you're feeling here shouldn't diminish, okay? If it does, mm -hmm. it'll break off. Don't want that. You want to keep it narrow. So we're going in narrow. And then we're letting it gradually grow into an ah. And then we're stopping as soon as it's an ah. We're not going any further. And because I've kept it narrow, a narrow approach each time, managed to get up into the high head voice but without it going into like a hooty sort of weaker or operatic sound it kind of sounds uh, balanced all the way through the range um, I really like this one because I mean obviously singing technique training is full of you know, narrow exercises fair enough um, but this one I feel really connects the breath and it sort of evolves into the vowel so slowly that you can really keep a handle of that very narrow feeling. And also, because it's a V, and like an outwards consonant, it keeps the breath moving. I find sometimes with some of the go 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 or some of the go 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 um some of the more glottal consonants or the consonants that are not outwards, um you know, people's voices can sometimes become uh, a bit over compressed. So this one I feel balances. You get the the outwardness as well as the kind of inward uh, compression. <laughs> 